Today we're going to be talking about IOPP. PPE for this task is general PPE. So when looking for the validity of the IOPP, we're going to see that it's actually valid for five years. These are also subject to annual surveys by class, so we have to see that those are valid as well. We're also going to see a supplement to the IOPP, which has all the particulars of the ship in terms of construction. When looking at the manufacturer's specification for validity and certification, we must look at the production certificate as well as the certificate when it's installed. For tank configurations, we're going to be looking for every single tank listed on the actual IOPP followed by the size, which is usually listed in volumes. Some final tips and tricks for IOPP is to verify that the equipment on board matches the IOPP certificate. In summary of IOPP, we cover the following. Identifying PPE and any hazards, verifying the certificate is present and valid, verifying the calibration and testing of the certificate, verifying oil, oil record book entries, reviewing piping and tank configuration, reviewing equipment installation, and that it matches the IOPP certificate. If you have any questions, contact your verifying officer.